Hey, we are back and we're live this evening. Once again, another exciting episode of In the Upper Room. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you to Shauna for that beautiful, beautiful prayer that she gave at the opening. Um, and it's always such a blessing when Shauna leads us in prayer. Uh, I get a chance to really just sit back and, and watch God's word come to life as it's presented through my beautiful co-host, Shauna Easter. Now, joining us this evening, a special treat. Uh, this is a, a man who certainly helped to shape my character. And as a young man, when I went to school, uh, during middle school, I went to Bancroft Middle School. So joining us tonight is my principal and my friend, Mr. Maurice Pritchett from Pritchett and Associates. Welcome to In the oh, Upper Room, Mr. You, Pritchett. Appreciate that. Yes, yes. Pleasure uh, to be here. It's a pleasure to have you, Mr. Pritchett. Thank and, you. Thank you know, you. Mr. Pritchett, um, we were joking towards uh, the beginning of this segment. Yes. And, and, I, and I, I laughingly said, I said, well, instead of being in the principal's office, the principal came to visit in our office That's today, correct. you know. <laughs> but but I, I just have so many fond memories, Mr. Pritchett, of yes. my time at, on, at Bancroft under your leadership. Yes. Um, and, and, you know, the reason why I, I feel blessed to have you here tonight, Mr. Pritchett, is because um, we and my peers who grew up and, and went to Bancroft during the 70s. I was there from 76 through 78. Yes. Uh, at, at that young, vulnerable point in our lives, we faced a, a mighty change. Yes. And, and that change was called desegregation. Correct. And, and um, I remember, Mr. Pritchett, and then I want to hear from you, sir, because uh, I, I, I could go on and on, but I just remember the attention that you paid to preparing us uh, to undergo that challenge, sir. So I just wanted to say thank you, Mr. Pritchett, and, and I'm just blessed to have you here. And, and I want you to be able to talk with us this evening about anything that's on your mind. Well, you know, I tell you, it's a pleasure to be here. Yes. And I'm, I'm happy to hear that I prepared you, young people, for uh, DSA. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, and make sure that you're able to get your education and that you were prepared to deal with any situation that might have come up. Mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm, you know, really uh, concerned with trying to help the young people continue their education. Right. And one of the things that uh, I'm concerned with doing is trying to eliminate so many youngsters who are getting involved in trouble in yes. school. Yes. Uh, where they're placed in alternative settings uh, or they're in timeout programs mm -hmm. or whatever, cooling off class, wherever you have, they have to go. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about here we're getting ready to start school the 31st of uh, August. Yes. And the youngsters will be coming in. Uh, elementary through high school right. and I'm hoping that they come back with the frame of mind of coming in to succeed in life right and so I'm hoping also mm -hmm. our parents will spend some time really sitting down talking yes sir. about here's what my expectations are I don't want you in trouble I want you going all your classes right and I want you to come home and study and I want you to do the kind of things that you need to do to get to that next level yeah so that's you know basically what's on my mind right now. Right. I see so many young people and I'm saying to myself, you know, if I could just reach out and talk to them mm -hmm. about, you know, what they need to do to be successful. Right. Uh, this school year. Right. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of incidents that are taking place. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, in Wilmington and uh, Newark, mm -hmm. Bear, uh, youngsters are seeing a lot of things happen. Right. And we don't want this to spill over. Uh, into the school year, into the different schools. So, right. uh, yes, I'm concerned, and any way I can help out, I'm going to do that. Uh, if it means meeting with parents mm -hmm. in the evening or having a parent form or whatever it takes yeah. to uh, let those young people know, we're not going to let it go this year. Right. It's not going to be business as usual. So I'm rolling my sleeves up to really work with the different agencies and say, you know what? We all need to come together, mm -hmm. uh, put our differences aside, right. and help the people we need to help. That's the young kids. Yes. And I think we can do that. Absolutely. And, you know, Mr. Pritchard, uh, in, in listening to you, I mean, your message actually has been pretty much the same and solid ever since I've known you. Thank you. And, and yeah, because what you, it seems like what you bring to the table is a holistic approach in dealing with young people because young people, although you know we don't give them certain responsibilities they're still complicated people yes and their their works in progress you know and and so 
what you bring to the table is an understanding and, and, and a working knowledge of how to deal with young people. Yeah. Because at the, during those times at Bancroft, one thing I remember is when there was a problem, uh, Mr. Pritchett, I'm telling you at home, Mr. Pritchett, when there was a problem, he would gather us students together before the flashpoint took place, and he'd call us to task. Um, he actually made sure that not only he, but the other staff administrators and teachers uh, paid attention to the needs of the kids and, and put, actually put the kids first because I can recall the teachers staying past the close of the school day. Yes. I can remember the parents requesting to meet with the teachers and it was not done to, to establish a symbolic victory, but it was to um, achieve a shared goal. Yes. which was to provide a safe and um, atmosphere that was conducive to learning. Yes. And that was our experience. And I'll be honest with you, when I left Bancroft School, I felt prepared for anything. And, and it, was, it was not because necessarily that we had brand new books or anything of that nature. It was we were taught how to apply what was in those books, Mr. Pritchett. That's super. And, and, and um, you told us that, you know, hey, carry yourself with dignity and other people will respect you. But if you don't carry yourself with dignity, what can you expect? So um, I just wanted once again to say that was the, the thing that I got from it. And because people gave so much to me, yes. it, it, it feels natural for me that I'm concerned about our community as well. Because as the kids are going back to school, hopefully, um, a, a majority or, or at least a large portion of them have had an opportunity to experience some growth this summer. Yes. But they can't do it on them, their own. No, absolutely. They need programs. They need structure. Mm -hmm. But they also need recreation. You know I'm concerned about our parks, Mr. Pritchett. We yes, talked about yes. that. Yes. Um, yes. So there's a lot of work to be done. Yes. You can't do it by yourself. No. I no. can't do it by myself. The parents, they need our support as well. Yes. But they must be involved because the kids come first. Oh, absolutely. And that's why I think that uh, right now we need a lot of parent forms. Yes. Uh, and I like the point where you stress that many of our youngsters are going to do well. Yeah. You know, we can't assume that there will be a problem right. uh, like that. But right. their youngsters are going to come in, uh, business as usual. Yeah. And they're going to end up in the office. And more than likely they're going to be placed in alternative school. Right. And that's not where we want them. Right. So, uh, you know, I think um, with people like you, and you've been a good role model. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Pritchard. An outstanding artist. Thank you, sir. And you've always <laughs> had this, um, this wonderful personality. Thank you, Mr. Pritchard. That people could sit down and talk to you. And so uh, uh, you made my job easy. Oh, it's a blessing yeah, to have yeah. you, man. I, I tell you, uh, that's the, one of the best experiences of my life. And you and I didn't get a chance to discuss much about uh, Pritchard and Associates, but uh, hopefully I can give them the website. It's PritchettMAssociates.com. Please go there and find out what wonderful works that uh, Mr. Pritchett and his associates are doing in the field of education and child development. Mr. Pritchett, I'm going to need to ask you to come back because unfortunately oh, for this segment we're out of time. Yes, but yes. thank you again, sir, okay, for coming. Pleasure. And please stay tuned at home for more from In the Upper Room with our co-host, Shauna Easter.